Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is another one of my short subjects, and I'm in my lady's boudoir. This is where she normally sits, and I came in here the other day, and I thought, oh great. I wonder how much she wasted on that new lamp. So it's a little reading lamp she bought for herself. But I thought, you know, I suppose that's 20 bucks, but that would be handier than heck on my bench downstairs in my workshop. So I said, what'd you pay for that thing? I'm going to get one. And she replied, a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. So in the car I went. So off to Dollar Tree I went. It's only one mile away. My wife goes there daily. And I was afraid they'd run out of them, but there was a mountain of these little lights sitting right next to the door where they put the shopping carts and I thought oh I'm just gonna get four of them while I'm at it because they're only a dollar it used to be a dollar now it's a dollar and a quarter they must have been a closeout because there's no way even in China they could make these for a dollar and of course it's a name brand Sunbeam not remember when Sunbeam was a major uh, player with it a little kitchen gadgets and uh, blenders and toasters and things like that well they don't make anything I don't believe it's kind of like Polaroid and RCA somebody bought the name out and has been exploding it ever since well that's a little bit beyond uh, what I wanted to tell you but here's the receipt well there's the receipt and while I was there I bought a Hershey with almonds, my favorite when they're refrigerated with a genuine Coca-Cola that has sugar in it, not corn sweetener. But of course that nickel candy bar now costs a dollar and a quarter. Well, there it is in all its glory. A dollar twenty-five LED. And you know what? I complained recently about lightweight products that you could knock over. But believe it or not, this is semi-sturdy and heavy, especially for that price. Even though it's all plastic, don't get me wrong, there's no metal in this entire thing, I don't believe, except maybe the copper wire, and that's finer than telephone wire. There's the number if anyone would want to buy one of those, and they might be useful on a piece of machinery if you had a way of fastening this as a work light. But this would have to come off, I suppose, in some kind of clamp. It wouldn't be worth it, but that is a nice little light that I will be using not only as I make videos but as I work in the shop and as you get older you need a lot of light you can't get enough of it so what do you think of that leave me a comment this is Mr. Pete saying so long for now does my voice sound funny to you it used to be deep and resonant and people said I sounded like Jimmy Stewart now I sound like Jimmy Stewart if he was a eunuch